Hey guys, I'm Elliot from the Everything Elliot YouTube channel and I'm guessing you're here because you want to hook up a Wi-Fi thermostat to your Linear waste oil, I'm pointing over the wrong shoulder, your Linear waste oil heater. Now, I have an XT300, but this will work just the same on any of the waste oil burners that Linear supplies. There's going to be two things you need to buy and I'll show you those right now. So I tested this with a Wise Smart thermostat and it worked which is awesome because WISE is very affordable. I believe the thermostat was around $70 and you're also gonna need this 24 volt power adapter. I think that was around 20, so all in you're gonna be around $90. Those are the only two things you'll need to buy. Wi-Fi thermostats require a C wire or a constant power wire. And unfortunately, the Linear waste oil heaters don't have a C wire. They've only got a T1, T2 thermostat. So starting over at the burner, you're just going to have your normal two T1 and T2 wires. You're going to leave those just as they are. Mine just happened to run up to the ceiling and all the way to my thermostat in the front corner of the shop. So I've already got this hooked up. It works. I've confirmed it works. It's been running all afternoon without issue. And I'll show you guys how to set it up real quick. So you've got your thermostat here and this is the 24 volt power adapter. This power adapter comes with about 20 feet of cord. So if you have an outlet within 20 feet of where you want to put your thermostat, you should have plenty. You just cut it to length. I left a little extra back here, but cut it to length, feed it through the back. The wise thermostat, all you do to get it apart, pull the faceplate off just like so. And that exposes your wires or how you're going to wire it in. Now there's only four wires you need to worry about. Two of them are from the heater and two of them are from this power adapter. So the two from the heater go right in your RH and W1. Doesn't really matter which ones they go in. The important ones from this adapter, you cut it to length, snip it, strip it back. One of them goes in the C and the other one goes in the RC. So you're going to put your faceplate back on. It's going to fire up. And when you first do it, it's going to walk you through the entire setup. Since I already tested this, wanted to make sure it worked before I recorded this video, mine's already set up. You just download the WISE app on your phone. Looks something like this. Again, I've already got my shop set up. Hey, you can see me in the reflection. Can you see me smiling? <laughs> All right, yeah, it's already set up. So you can go to controls, turn it to heat. There you go, heating to 67. And you've seen it turn over there, 67. It's as simple as that. Obviously you can see if you've got Wi-Fi in the shop here, you need to have some sort of Wi-Fi signal in your building to make this work. Whether that be the Wi-Fi, if you can grab it from your house, great. If not, you need to have a router or some sort of Wi-Fi connection in here. When you do go to hook this up, it's gonna walk you through a step-by-step -step process of hooking it up, putting the wires in, yada, yada, yada. I just showed you where the wires go. That's where they go. When you do start it up, it is going to give you a warning that says, hey, something is wired wrong, but fear not. If you follow the instructions the same way I hooked it up, it's not wired wrong. Just tell that computer, hey, you're wrong. I wired it right. Elliot told me so. It's gonna work, guaranteed. Mine works. You might be able to hear it in the background. It's been running all afternoon without issue. So if you guys have any questions, comments, or concerns, anything like that, leave a comment below. I'll do my best to answer them. And if you want to just buy the stuff that I bought instead of going out and try to find your own, I'll leave a link in the description. Thanks for watching, and I hope you guys have a great day.